Well, the coalition of civil society organizations has shown its weight behind a proposed plan by the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, to recapitalize our commercial banks, describing the move as healthy for the Nigerian economy. Addressing a world press conference in Lagos, led out the coalition, Lester Wilskos, uh, who is also the past uh, chairman of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria, ICANN, noted that the recapitalization would position the banks as well as attract investors to the country. Also speaking, Nelson Ekujumi, uh, convener, uh, committee for the protection of people's mandates to newsmen that some Nigerians were allegedly planning to use faceless civil society organizations to stop the move because they don't want the fresh injection of capital into the bank. The spokesperson said the group intended to delay or force CBN to drop the ongoing reforms of the banking sector so as to elongate the stay of their paymasters at the helm of affairs at some of the sick banks. So with our current state, the banks cannot even finance oil majors, IOCs. The banks can't finance IOCs. The banks cannot finance big uh, 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 agricultural or uh, industrial programs. The banks can't finance bills of refineries. Rather, they can only help state governors to give them uh, monies to build roads and bridges and then domicile their, uh, uh, their FAC in their banks. That is trading. That is just buying and selling. So we want our banks to be able to support SMEs, support agriculture, support, uh, 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 what do you call it, tech hubs. The new craze now is tech. Today, we are over 210 million, estimated to be between 210, 220 million people. And that is why my colleague here said that we don't have to wait until things get bad. The capitalization should be a progressive act. Because while the population keeps increasing, it means that the burden of governance is also increasing, and the burden on the economy is as well increasing. And while these burdens and these challenges are increasing, we need strong financial institutions that will be able to shoulder the challenges of these developments and these progressive milestones. And how do you do that? Ensure that we have strong banks. The only way that the civil society is making that noise now, I think it's great. I think it's better than what happened in 2004. I think it's also better than what um, my friends, uh, Omori in 1991, uh, the CBN governor himself in 2004, and uh, Balogu in 2007 shouted, and which was not heeded. Now the civil Organizations are saying the real survival of Nigeria is economic viability. Whatever we fund, we want to find a structure, it has to be economically valuable. And if this fails, I'm afraid we will not have another chance um, to try and rebuild. God forbid. 